feel knowing you're representing like Filipinx voices because you don't typically see them on like sci-fi fantasy shows like this or if you do they're always like a token character. Right. No, absolutely. I think um, representation is absolutely important. I'm really happy and proud to say that I'm Filipino. Um, my parents are from Anaguino. Um and they're very happy. And the cool thing about being Filipino, it's like there's so much Filipino pride. So I get so much love from the community, especially on Instagram. They're like, oh my god, like I haven't seen someone that looks like me do something like this. And I just think that's so special and um, I hope to represent more. Definitely, because yeah. most more often times like Asians are always like a smoke, soft spoken character, and then you have like you're like the complete opposite. You're kind of ditzy. You're not like oh I'm super super good at like math and yeah. science and stuff. So to see the 180 flip and see that you weren't gonna be written as something that's generally stereotyped and very right. like mental opera like in terms of representation. Yeah. No, I love it, and I love that. I know it's kind of weird because it's I, I'm small, like I'm the shortest person in the cast, and I just remember like when I was torturing Sarah because she's. She's a little bit taller than me. They were like, oh, Larissa, can you get up a little bit more? I'm like, this is as high as I can get. <laughs> this is literally, they're like, oh, you're, you're on your tippy toes? I'm like, I'm on my tippy toes. <laughs> yeah. No, it's great. <laughs> what about um, their last interaction between Brandon and Gabrielle at the end was sort of like, she's kind of mad at him for like running away. What, what can we kind of expect a little bit from the two of them? Oh, two, two episodes only. I don't know. Um, that I can't say. There's a, yeah, there's a little bit of, uh, how do I say, a reveal in, the, I think it's the first episode that happens of season two. Of what happens with the two of them? Um, yeah. What do you expect to happen to your character this season? Is there anything that you would like to portray? Anything that you would like to see for Um, I would like to see for I mean, I think like I really, I really like making people laugh, and I love doing the comedic parts. Um, but as soon as Gabrielle's first time was introduced, a lot of people responded to that. So I and and the reason why she has a darker side is because the order kind of feels a void for her. Like she feels like she has a purpose. Um, so to go into that and maybe her backstory a little bit more with that, that would be really really cool. Um, and I would love to have more scenes with um, like Sarah and Debra and Katie, just because like I, I love like the all women scenes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the guys are cool too, but like, you know, girl power, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you think that you're gonna have like a sort of like redemption arc maybe? I mean, it, it kind of seemed like with Katie's character, you were like with her and then you got drafted by the guy that played Jack's dad. And so do you think she'll have like a redemption arc with... Do you need a redemption of like, uh... Well you were kind of like staying true I guess to the order, but it's kind of like you were like betraying her by like being more faithful yeah. to... Yeah. Right. Well, I th well definitely when you left on in season, season one, uh, your idea does say that we're giving you another chance. Mm -hmm. And I mean, Gabrielle could be a little not right sometimes, but I don't think she's dumb enough to screw it up, you know? <laughs> Do you think your character is like like destined to be like evil or is she like searching for something? Do you know what I'm saying? That's hard. That's hard. Um, no, I think I think she's she's definitely searching for something. She's searching for a purpose and I mean although she does have like a darker side to it, it was because like, you know, she was told like this is your assignment, I need you to help me. And then she just kind of took it too far, almost, you know? Yeah. So I think it's just like a learning curve. You know how we all have learning curves? Yeah. <laughs> we all went through those, right? You just have to reel it back in a little bit. Hopefully. <laughs>